If our data is right, you're probably watching this video on a phone just like this. Well, maybe not exactly, but maybe like this. Ah, that's probably more accurate. Anyway, we're guessing you like technology, and you probably customized your phone to make your life easier. Well, we hope. So why don't you make your arena life easier by using the same UI as pro players? Today we will be giving you an add-on update for Season 2, and be sure to stick around because we will show you exactly where you can download the complete UI package featured in this video. And speaking of getting packages, you probably like to read reviews first before buying things online. Right now on our Discord, you can see some of the reviews from players just like you who have seen huge rating gains from using our website skillcap.com. Over the past decade, we have seen half a million players level up their own gameplay by following the lessons we teach in our guides. It costs as low as $4.99 a month to subscribe, and we are so confident in your results that we offer a money back guarantee if you don't see the rating gains you are expecting. So if you are in a slump and want to learn proven methods to increase your rating this season, be sure to check out skillcap.com slash wow today. Let's start things off by giving you an update to two popular add-ons that you probably already use in Arena. The first is Omnibar, and if you don't already have it by now, you definitely should. This add-on tracks important cooldowns, allowing you to prepare for enemy attacks. You can customize what CDs you want to track, and you can even group cooldowns by category. Here for instance, we have a bar for interrupts, another bar for offensive and defensive cooldowns, and finally a bar to track important crowd control spells. You could also have one giant bar tracking everything at once, but we highly recommend splitting them up into categories. You can create custom bars by clicking this button here, and then renaming the bar indicating what you want to track. In this case, we will be tracking CCs. Then go to the spells tab and select all the spells you want to track for that category. In this case, we are selecting all the important crowd control spells one by one for every class. You shouldn't track every single spell listed, but instead include every interrupt, major offensive and defensive cooldown, as well as any CC effect that has a CD attached to it. For a better idea on what to track, watch our video called How to Instantly Gain Rating in WoW PvP. Moving on, if you have been doing any serious PvP this expansion, you already know about Weak Auras. We made an entire guide on how to set up Weak Auras last season, so be sure to check it out in order to learn more about configuring this add-on. Although we covered the most important spells to track, there have been some changes in the meta, so it's time to add some more spells. I'm sure by now you know how Windwalker Monk's one shot with spinning crane kick, and most of it has to do with a talent called Dance of Chi Ji and the Necrolord ability called Bone Dust Brew. Luckily, we can use Weak Auras to track both of these spells. You can track the buff for Dance of Chi Ji by creating a new aura, setting the type to aura, unit to arena, and aura type to buff, and then pasting the spell ID we have on screen here. Bone Dust Brew is a debuff, so it needs to be tracked differently. Do this by setting the unit to player and the aura type to debuff, and then copying the spell ID we have listed on screen. Note that because it is a debuff, it will only display when it's affecting your character. You should also add a tracker for echoing reprimand as more and more sub rogues are making the switch back to Kyrian. We have the configuration listed on screen, but because it's a bit difficult to set up, we will be including information on how to get this entire weak aura later on in this video. Finally, since many Shadow Priests are making the switch to Necrolord, you should add tracking for the Unholy Transfusion debuff on friendly targets, which is a dispellable disease that deals significant damage. You can track the spell by adding an aura with a player debuff trigger, and then copying the spell ID that we have listed on screen so you can see whenever your character has this debuff. There are so many spells you can track, and it's okay if there's overlap with your Omnibar. Weak Auras show you when important CDs are being used, while Omnibar shows you when the CDs will be available. Redundancy is actually good in UIs for PvP, as long as your screen isn't too cluttered. But please don't do this. We shouldn't have to explain why. Moving on, we have an add-on that you might not be using, but you definitely should for Season 2. Omni CD allows you to track important cooldowns for your teammates, and by default it will display right next to their frames. This is really convenient when you're playing in LFG without voice chat, since it's really hard to know what cooldowns your team has available. With Omni CD, you can see exactly what team defensives have been used, allowing you to make much better decisions to block enemy attacks. The most important CD to pay attention to is Trinket, since it often determines who on your team is able to block enemy setups with their other defensives if your team gets cross CC. Next up, we have an add-on that you are probably using, but you might be using an outdated version. It's Gladius, or S-Arena if you're a hipster. And these add-ons are iconic when it comes to Arena. 
Now though, there is a custom version of these add-ons that allows you to track enemy healer dispels. This is really broken now with the shackles trinket, since using your trinket while dispels on cooldown gives you massive offensive pressure. If you want to download this exclusive version, you can find it by joining our Discord with the link below. There you will find our add-ons channel with a download link to our complete skill capped add-on pack, which is pre-configured with all the add-ons we are covering in this video. One add-on we don't see often in our user submitted videos is big debuffs, probably because its name is a bit deceiving. It doesn't make all of your debuffs bigger, but instead it shows you the most important buffs and debuffs on all of your current frames. Not only will it show you information on your target and focus, but it will also make important CC debuffs bigger on your party frames, making it faster to see when your team is stuck in CC. This makes it easier to see the most useful information in the most convenient way possible, allowing you to ignore many of the trash buffs and debuffs on your frames. Next up, we have an add-on that very few players actually use, but it is becoming more popular among pro players. It is called Diminish, and if you couldn't guess by now, it allows you to track diminishing returns on various frames. Of course, you can track DRs on enemy players using Gladius, but Diminish is different since it allows you to track DRs on friendly players as well. This is super important against setup based comps like RMP and Mage Spell Cleaves since it gives you more information on when your team is most vulnerable. We made a 60 second video featuring this add on, so be sure to check it out after you watch this video to learn more about DR tracking and why it's helpful in Arena. Our last three add ons are ones that most players gloss over but probably shouldn't. The first is Jack's Party Cast Bars. This will display a cast bar next to your teammates frames. Just like Omni CD, this add-on is really helpful for queuing LFG since it shows you what your party members are doing without needing communication. This add-on is really useful if you are playing with mages, warlocks, or druids since it will show you when they are casting damage and CC. Next we have Trufi GCD. It displays recent ability presses in a single section of your screen. On paper, this doesn't seem really useful. Why would anyone need to know the ability they just pressed? But in practice, this is super valuable if you record your gameplay. Using this add-on makes it easier to see your own mistakes when you're re-watching your clips. You can do it to diagnose problems in your rotation, or see if you accidentally used the defensive cooldown at the wrong time. In any case, we highly recommend this for anyone who records their own gameplay. Finally, if you watch pro player streams, you probably see them checking this thing after every game. Details gives you tons of data on your arena game, including damage and healing breakdowns, death logs, CC information, and more. Damage and healing breakdowns are really useful for anyone looking to improve their gameplay. After each game, you can check your meters to help diagnose problems in your rotation. Be sure to subscribe because we will be giving you a full tutorial on how to use this add-on just like a pro. And that wraps up our add-on update for Season 2. Once again, if you want to download our complete UI package, head on over to our free Discord using the link in the video description to access the zip folder with instructions on how to set up your interface. As always though, thanks for watching, see you soon.